Hey, yeah. So today I'm going to show you how to make this wreath out of pop tabs, and um, it's just a really simple uh, Christmassy thing to do. And you can even cover your pop tabs using enamel paint. And this project, you can even use the pop tabs that only have the one hole, which actually looks quite nice, like these monster tabs. Something a bit different, and they look nice if you hang them up on your tree. You can hang them along the fireplace or anything. So first of all you're going to need some pop tabs. Now each wreath will be made out of 28 and you're going to need about 16 inches of ribbon. Add a couple inches extra though because it's better to have more than less. So with the pop tabs you start off with a couple. First of all you can have one face one way, one face the other way so the backs, backs are facing each other. And they're going to end up like this, they're going to end up only half overlapping each other. So one pop tab will overlap two other pop tabs. hope that made sense. Here's first of all, you take your ribbon and put it through the bottom hole of one of your pop tabs, the one that's facing you. You get another pop tab facing away. And you just pull the ribbon down for a sec to keep it out of the way. And you overlap the pop tabs, like halfway as you can see and then you just put the ribbon back through the two holes at the bottom so so you're going through the bottom hole of both pop tabs hopefully by what you, I'm doing you can see it better than how I'm explaining it <laughs> okay so then you grab another pop tab this one again is going to be facing you you lay that next to the first pop tab but overlapping the second one and then you put the ribbon through the bottom holes again, again through both tabs, the front one and the back one. And this can get a little bit fiddly if you're using a fairly thick ribbon, well actually practically any ribbon is fiddly. I'll show you a little trick in a minute to make it a little bit easier to do. So this is basically similar to what how um, some people actually make pop tab bracelets. So I'm just using that kind of design and obviously just making it into a circle reef shape. So as you can see just this simple weaving in and out of each pop tab is how you're going to do this. So again get your thread, put it through the back. So other than the first pop tab, the next pop tab you have to make sure you're going through two holes from two different pop tabs. Probably just confused you there. <laughs> okay, so this is what the back is meant to be look like. Okay, so the trick is, if you've got one of these small safety pins, you just basically attach it to the end of the ribbon and close it up. And you basically just use this like you would a needle. You use it as a needle, so you thread that through the holes first, and then obviously that pulls the ribbon through. Just a little tip but it does make it a lot easier and you can do it a lot quicker as well because it slides this through so easily as you see in this one do you see the holes not too big in this one because that goes through easily the ribbon just slides through after it so like I say just do this kind of design for for all your 28 pop tabs until you get to the last one and then we'll attach it all together okay so this is what it'll look like once you're finished and we're going to attach these the two end ones together now so basically what you do is try and keep the first ribbon out of the way just overlap the two to carry on with the pattern and uh, so what we're going to do is take the end ribbon that you finished with and put it through the hole that you originally started with just through the one pop tab 
and then you go and put it through the last tab you just um, finished with and then pull it tight and pull it around to the back then what you're going to do is get the thread the uh, bit of ribbon that's around the front and you're just going to thread it through a hole to get it toward to the back so you just pull it out to the back so you've got both rib pieces of ribbon behind the reef and then all you're going to do now is just make sure it's nice and tight and just do a simple knot to keep it in place and then we're going to go and thread these ribbons back through the front so you just basically thread them through one of the holes you've already been through and then they'll pop out the front and then that's basically it for the basic shape of it and all you have to do is customize them okay so this is what it's done and then obviously you trim up the ends of the ribbons make sure they're both even and straight put a bit of glue or clear nail varnish on the ends so they don't fray and then you can decorate it I tend to put little like jingle bells like these on it so it makes a little dangle sound jingle sound you put a little thread on the top as well to hang on your Christmas tree and that's it thank you bye